Okay. Uh, I'm honored uh, to be inv invited by uh, DNS in this uh, international um, conference about uh, vernacular folk architecture. <coughs> okay, thank you. <coughs> uh, a few words about me. I'm a certified architect and the lead designer at our office in the Chicxulub town. My design work primarily focuses on uh, preserving the built heritage of the Transylvania and the uh, secular land uh, My research topics include uh, folk-inspired, traditional rooted, organic and local architecture, <coughs> secular uh, CK village uh, protection, and uh, CK folk architecture, and uh, repurposing of our barns. Unfortunately, my English skills are uh, still uh, beginner level, but I hope the main point I want to convey will still be understandable. <coughs> Let's start. <coughs> I uh, would like to briefly introduce in my presentation the traditional barn conventions in Transylvania, Romania. I uh, detailed uh, the Rodis Gergely uh, mentioned <coughs> uh, topic. The territory we cover is in the Eastern Carpathians, where traditional farming is still alive and the most of the small farms still use their traditional barn to store hay and accommodate their livestock, cow, sheep and horse, <coughs> in the same building. However, the younger generation in village tend to either stop farming or scale up and modernize their agricultural activities, therefore vernacular architectural buildings, such as old bars, lose their primary functions. This unfortunate transition leads to decay of heritage created by vernacular architecture. Oftentimes, families decide to demolish their bars, which is a significant loss for the historical environment and for aesthetics of settlements as well. Uh, we made uh, this publication mentioned by uh, Gergő in uh, 20, uh, 2015 <coughs> with the help of the Chick Leader Local Action Group and the uh, Pogányhavas Regional Association. They, they, the idea behind this uh, publication is to help uh, barn owners to value their building and to help them develop new plans for new functions. We believe that this barn provides a great architectural space for many functions of the modern lifestyle. They can accommodate modern spacious homes, guest houses, workshops, or cultural centers, community space, restaurants, theaters, and even smaller sport halls, among many other options. We believe that in most cases, it is much better to convert the existing barns than to replace them by the new village buildings, because currently the village landscape is still being dominated by existing large barns. It's uh, worth emphasizing two related cultural features. One is that even in a relativ relatively small geographic area, different characteristics and styles of the barns developed over the course of the centuries. It was influenced by the available building materials, brick, stone, and timber, practicalities as well as trend as, and uh, local competition to express well by, well by, by the size and uh, style of the barn. The other one is the fact that small-scale family farms in these mountain areas developed and maintained the one of the Europe's highest biodiversity. 
For visitors, the beauty of flower-rich meadows in June and July, together with barns, a storage for hay, made on these enchanting grasslands, Julie and August, provides the complex and interconnected experience of farming, <coughs> built heritage and culture inside and outside the village, it is on landscape level. We are working together with several architects, landscape architects and farmers to popular, popularize the idea of recycling a usual barn in the area to appreciate and use the old barn architecture for new, for new purposes. Our goal is to celebrate the beauty of the barn and show new opportunities to present easily understandable ideas for re-evaluating our tradition and to inspire bar owners to look for new purposes for their existing buildings. We also want barn owners, architects, builders or building authority officials to better understand the importance of local culture and uh, environment when it comes to barn conversions. Between 2019 and uh, 2022, I was part of a scholarship with the support of the Hungarian Academy of Arts in which I could uh, further research and expand this topic. I published my research uh, here. In the first part of my presentation, I will present a few historical barn forms and uh, shapes as well as they are used in the area. The barn of the Easter Carpathians Seekerfeld is so-called combination barn which has a huge, dry and ventilated space to store hay and split level structure at one end, one end of the barn for additional functions such as the housing livestock, cattle, sheep, pigs and horse, grain, farm carts and uh, agricultural implements. The shape and the structure of barns were determined by needs and the practicalities of the farming lifestyle. Our ancestors knew very well which materials suited best for which functions to serve many generations. This is why shape, structure and beauty in traditional buildings go so strongly hand in hand and this resulted in a characteristic building dominating not only the farmyard, but also the village scenery. This is why we went so much into details about the exterior features of traditional barns and how to deal with them during conversions. Barns can be found in a wide variety of architectural and spatial forms as well as in terms of material used. The roofing of barns, including their shaping and uh, material usage, varied from region to region with the locals always using natural building materials readily available in the vicinity. For instance, if we put too, too many large windows and doors on the originally closed timber, stock or brick walls of the barn, we completely ruin the original character of the building. At the same time, this cannot be a strict rule. Proper design and playfulness can help solving this issue. Probably the most characteristic feature of the barn is in all this gate which was large enough to let in a horse-drawn cart fully loaded with hay. We, sh we shouldn't uh, remove it, but rather us as a blind and protection for the large glass surface behind it. We always recommended simple and locally embedded design and moderate decorations taking into account the details of the traditional solutions. We also give detailed advance on recommended and 
avoided materials. The use of matching materials in the garden for walkways or terraces is also crucial. The local character and common feature features of an area are always guiding principles of a proper design. These are very nicely expressed by the building materials as well as, as by the setting. A good understanding of the building's relationship with its immediate surroundings and landscape character will be helped to ensure and the new work conserve the relationship with the landscape. In the second part of my presentation, I present a number of a good exa examples of a finished barn conversions. These examples com come from the area of uh, Transylvania, Seekerford. They represent a wide range of possible functions. This is a community barn in uh, Lazarfava village. This uh, property under the care of the Andras uh, Foundation <coughs> hosts several summer camps and uh, events every year. The ground floor provides space for group activities while the attic has been converted into a simple student accommodation. Preserving the original aspect of the building through the simplicity of the solution, it is a great example of a low budget and resourceful renovation. This is a community barn in Gyergyu Chomafalva village. An example of a new built house that uh, functions as a restaurant and event space in a barn-like structure. Its uh, exterior design follows the characteristic of traditional barn with a barn door, window, and a plastered whitewashed table, all enhancing its uh, traditional barn-like appearance. The interior space is open plan with a gallery on the upper level along the outer walls. The beautiful and striking wooden structure inside deviates from tradition but serves the new function well. Cafe bar in Chikmadi Falva village. A brick wall, boiler room and uh, restroom facilities have been built in place of the old plaster stable. The spacious area in the barn ale spanning two levels has been repur repurposed for hospitality purposes and uh, here in the gallery space of the barn they have uh, placed the tables of the cafe. The interior space of the building preserved the original aspect and wooden structure of the barn. Guest house and community barn, Chikderna village. The owner is uh, Rodic Gergely. <coughs> During the renovation, we aim to preserve the original form of the barn, allowing the building to continue as an integral part of the location architecture. We use small openings that blend well with the barn's appearance. At the same time, we also priorita prioritize the preservation of the old materials. We kept as much possible and uh, adjusted the necessary, necessary new windows and doors to match the shape and color of the existing ones. Barnhouse, Chobotfava, Chiksereda town. Several new openings have been made to meet, to ne met, met to meet, med, <coughs> made to meet to needs of the new shapes. The interior space follow the original layout of the barn. They are designed using the tools of contemporary architecture with walls and ceilings covered in laminated pine boards. Studio barn in Nyarad Magyaros village. The barn has been transformed into an artist studio to meet the needs of a painter. The original wooden structural elements enhance the atmosphere of the interior space. One of the advantages in, in that uh, 
in that the barn's original space and wooden structure are still be preserved and visible today. Guesthouse barn in Zobola village. The outer skin of the converted barn into, into a guesthouse has been preserved. The entrance of the barn is closed off with a glass wall. The interiors of the guest house have been furnished with authentic historical furniture. Forest school barn in uh, Potyont village. They transport a brick barn located on the outskirts of the village into a forest school. They considered preserving the barn's interior space and structure as well as using nat natural materials. On the ground floor, they created a large community space while attic was also converted into a social area. Architectural barn studio in uh, Chikshomyo, Chikserada town. <coughs> a young architect transformed their bar into an architecture, uh, architectural office and uh, artisan workshop. The original wooden walls are beautifully showcased. They kept and restored also the old windows and doors. Barn house in Chikshomyo, Chikserada town. The original barn retains its large open space in the form of a two-level living area. A metal structure replaced the role of the, one of the original wooden beams. The original materials and shapes are well preserved and uh, added architectural elements are not destructive. The solution with the eaves windows is clever. Beside the practicalities, I also wish to represent a philosophy of why and how we should value our built heritage. This is an approach with its roots in the old times and facing towards the unborn, a form of present-day communication be between past and future. We suggest an approach which, by understanding the process of uh, change, doesn't want to completely replace the heritage of the past generation, but rather through an improved usefulness turn into the part of future lifestyles. We advocate a simple and natural behavior, something which is, uh, was the norm 50 or 100 years ago in this region. We hope that our movement will help barn owners to consider their old barns as a great potential for the future, rather than useless heap of timber for the past to get rid of quickly. We wish that builders and architects have barn owners in this process, which results in a big number of saved and converted barn, not in in our area, but in any farming community undergoing a similar process of modernization. Thank you for attention. Uh, for more details, please visit our website and browse uh, through on uh, our online publication. The website is in uh, Hungarian, but you can use your internet browser translation program for assistance, which is getting better that by day. <laughs> Thank you.